What? Wait, what just hit me? Wait. What is that? No! What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I can't believe I'm actually saying this right now, but Black Ops 2 just got an update in 2024. You what? So if we actually head over to the COD TV, this whole section has actually been filled with mods and hacks and it's been ruined. All these pictures that you see right here, oh, these weren't actually here. But yeah, you guys are seeing this right now. Uh, everything is loading up. Everything is normal. And this is the first time we've actually seen the COD TV tab in Black Ops 2 normal in like probably since the game has come out. I'm actually kind of curious. Let's go to community community and let's go to most popular what is actually gonna come up oh it's actually a bunch of errors oh my god there were actually clips that you can click on and watch in the theater mode and that's how you would basically get like the mod menus and all of the hacks aimbot unlock all oh no there's still some on here i actually wonder if they're actually working still if you go to screenshots it literally says miles morales something other than but if you look at all of these, like these are just like clips in the game. This one is literally just straight. Okay, I, I legitimately have to blur this. And you guys are probably wondering why did all of a sudden Black Ops 2 get an update and why are they starting to fix this game? Last year, Activision was actually bought by Microsoft. And that means that Xbox is now going to own Call of Duty once again. As you guys know, Xbox has the Xbox Game Pass and they are starting to bring Call of Duty onto that. And I'm sure we're gonna be seeing Black Ops 2 and a lot of the older Call of Duty games come to Xbox Game Pass. But yeah, and on top of Black Ops 2 getting an update, um, my account was legitimately hacked. I'm on my Xbox again just to check out Black Ops 2 and I go on, I'm level one. I'm completely hacked, all of my stats were reset. So that's sick guys, thank you so much. <laughs> sucks because this is like my legit account like my actual xbox account that i played black ops 1 black ops 2 like when they first came out back in the day and now my stats are just completely gone I'm actually gonna search for a match here and just see if we can find any players are there still hackers on the xbox version of the game did find one lobby this guy has um no prestige emblem and it literally says level 55 prestige 1337 i would imagine there still are hackers on black ops 2 and if xbox wants to bring black ops 2 and all of these older call of duty games they're gonna have to put in some work and actually take the time to remove all these hackers starting to see that with the last recent update but there's still a lot they need to do. I go to emblem editor and try to make an emblem like it actually works like I can put stuff I can change the color make it different sizes and it actually all works which is kind of crazy it sucks because this is like my legit account like my actual Xbox account that I played Black Ops 1 Black Ops 2 like when they first came out back in the day and now my stats are just completely gone like, I don't even know what my KD was. But we actually ended up finding a game. I'm only level one, so I can only use a default class. The best way to actually play Black Ops 2 in the year 2024 is actually just playing it on your PC and downloading the Plutonium Client. This is definitely just very, very strange to play. Like the FOV, the frames, oh, it's just not all there. For the most part, I think this is just a legit lobby. I don't think there's any hackers. I'm also pretty sure that the zombies mode has been uh, broken in Black Black Ops 2 for a very, very long time. Pretty sure now you can actually play Black Ops 2 zombies again if you wanted to. Yo, what the flip? What? Wait, what just hit me? Wait. What is that? What did I just die by? He had a shotgun that shot electricity. Wait, what? Wait, dude, what? This guy has an electric shotgun? Okay, so yeah, there's still players that are hacking. And, and cheating on this game for sure. Listen, Xbox, I, I, I can't even kill him. What is this? What is this? Xbox, if you want Black Ops 2 to be on Xbox Game Pass, and if you want to sell people Xbox Game Pass and use Black Ops 2 as a promotion tool, yeah, you're gonna have to clear all these hackers. Why in the hell would anyone buy Xbox Game Pass and play Black Ops 2? There's a part of me that actually thinks Microsoft is gonna take this seriously and actually start cleaning up the game because they already are starting to, but I mean, what the... I, I, I don't even know what he's shooting out of his shotgun. But that guy definitely has God mode. He... 
I can see the mod menu. Really thought I was gonna play Black Ops 2 today and just not experience any type of hackers, but oh my god. And honestly, it just adds a little salt in the wound that I'm actually just reset. Like, my account got reset, my level, my class setups. Like, I had diamond camo on this game, and I don't even have it anymore, so... It's, it's honestly really disrespectful. Hostile Lodestar, are you kidding? Of course, of course. I mean, I knew it. Now he has an MP7 that's also shooting out those missiles. Man, it's it's just insane. Never really understood why people are on a game that came out in 2000, what, 12? And they're hacking like this. There's like five people on the game, probably. And you're hacking for fun? Wait, I think someone... Oh, someone's hacking. This guy right here, he's hacking on my team. He has dogs and a swarm, but only seven kills. Everyone else on the other team just literally keeps leaving. So yeah, th there's a hacker. Of course, man. Yup, oh, gotta kill. No, 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 no. Stop it! Oh my god, yes, finally. Thank you, teammates. Yeah, you can see him knifing. He's literally jumping and he's going through his mod menu right now. Literally, look at him. He's just jumping and shooting going through the mod menu. Yeah, he literally just called it another swarm and dogs. Look at him just go through his little mod menu. Migrating host? Wait, what? The host leave? The host had enough. I honestly just don't see this working out. Like, Xbox is gonna try and fix this game. I just don't think they can. It's just been stuck on migrating hosts this whole time. All right, so I'm just gonna quit the game and the guy just forced me to quit the game. Like, I don't know, man, if uh, Microsoft wants to use all these older Call of Duty games as a bonus in the Xbox Game Pass, uh, they definitely need to just update it more. I mean, genuinely, if they release their Xbox Game Pass and then say, hey, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is now on it, uh, go buy Xbox Game Pass, and then people get on the game and then this is what they're playing, there's absolutely no way that this is real. Like, there's just no physical way they use this as a bonus. I think the new update for BO2 was 100% a step in the right direction, for sure. But at the same time, like, there are still so many hackers, and you guys can see right now, I'm still finding them. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, man. It really, really doesn't, but we'll have to just kind of wait and see what happens. My screen is just shaking. Wait. Wait, what? Wait. It's the same hacker again. He's just making our screens shake. I think he's increasing the speed. I, 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 I physically couldn't even play. Oh, good. I can actually finally create a class now. Now I'm so happy. You know, all the work I put in back in uh, 2012. It is very strange, though, because Black Ops 2 actually takes place in 2025, and that's literally next year. I am really excited, though, because this year, Treyarch is finally releasing their next Call of Duty game. The last game that they released was uh, Black Ops Cold War. And later this year, we are going to be getting a new Treyarch game. I'm so excited. The rumors are saying it's going to be Black Ops Gulf War, so we'll kind of just have to wait and see what it is. But also, according to rumors, they said in 2025, literally next year, we are going to be getting a Black Ops 2 sequel. I don't know if Treyarch is also going to be making that game, but if we actually get a Black Ops 2 sequel next year and we get two Black Ops games two years in a row, I will probably cry. I just feel like Treyarch is always on top with developing Call of Duty games. I'm just kind of so excited to see what they've been working with and working for for the last, like, what, four years? Close to four years? Cold War came out quite a long time ago, and it's been a minute since we've actually seen Treyarch cook up a Call of Duty game. I've just been having to deal with, like, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer games past few years, but, like, now we're actually getting some new Treyarch content, which I'm so hyped about. So far, though, this game is the only game that has been somewhat normal. Oh my god. It actually feels so good, though, to play Black Ops 2 on the Xbox with no hackers. I think this is what Microsoft is working for, but I don't know if they're actually going to be able to do it. Oh my gosh. This shotgun was so stupid. <laughs> hey, that's the game. We actually played a full game 
with not a single hacker. It's crazy. That's actually a possibility. All right, well, I think that's enough Black Ops 2 for today. Listen, man, if you guys made it up to this point, drop a like down below if you want to see Black Ops 2 actually fix. It's crazy because there's a lot of potential here with all of these older CODs being on the Xbox Game Pass. There's no point for them to be on the Game Pass if there's just hackers running everywhere. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.